So you're in the market for a plate carrier or a chest rig, and you're not really sure which one to get first. So I figured I'd make a video talking about 10 different categories where a plate carrier or a chest rig might be a better option. And then at the end of the video, we'll talk about which one you should buy first based on how each of these performs. This is just my opinion. I'm not prior military or law enforcement or anything. I'm just a guy who tries to be as prepared as I can be. And I just wanna give you my thoughts on what I would have done if I was in your same situation. For the first category, we'll be talking about home defense. What's better for a home defense situation? plate carrier or a chest rig and in my opinion a plate carrier brings more to the table in that type of scenario now plate carriers give you the ability to have additional armor which is definitely good in a home defense situation because you don't necessarily know what your attackers are capable of and being able to stop rifle rounds with a plate carrier with the proper plates inserted is a big deal and then you still have the access to additional magazines and whatever other equipment you want your plate carrier to have on it and at the same time, most home defense situations are relatively static. You're not gonna be moving around or running a marathon most likely. And at the same time, they don't last very long. So the weight that the plate carrier brings along with it is worth the additional protection because you're not gonna be moving around too much and you're not gonna be worried about having to bear all that weight for a long period of time. So at the end of the day, in my opinion, a plate carrier makes more sense for a home defense situation than a chest rig. So let's move on to the next category. So let's talk about scouting and reconnaissance. If you're gonna be moving over a really long distance for a long period of time, you really can't be a chest rig. It has much less weight. It's a lot less encompassing of your body, which means your body heat can escape and you can sweat properly, which means you'll have more stamina over time. And you generally don't need the additional weight of armor plates or anything like that because you're scouting and you're on reconnaissance. You're not necessarily trying to find yourself in any type of engagement. So for me, Anything that involves long distances and a lot of trekking is going to be in the favor of the chest rig. So when it comes to reconnaissance, scouting, or anything of that sort, definitely the chest rig over the plate carrier. And don't forget, you could always just wear a plate carrier without the plates in it to save a lot of weight, which I totally get. But at the end of the day, the problem with that is, is it still wraps up your body, makes it a lot less comfortable for wearing any other equipment you might have on you. And at the same time, it keeps your body heat trapped. So maybe not the best for your stamina, which is why the chest rig is the better option. So let's move on to the next category. For the category of perimeter patrol or some type of guard duty, especially during like an SHTF scenario, I would think that a plate carrier would make more sense. Usually if you're on a perimeter patrol, you're not going to be moving at an extremely fast pace or anything like that. And if you're on guard duty or anything of that nature, it's likely because you anticipate some type of an attack. Usually you're on guard duty or doing a patrol because you're worried about people coming at you in an aggressive manner. And if you're worried about being attacked, having the additional protection that armor plates can bring along with them is a good idea, especially knowing that if someone's going to attack you, they'll likely be well equipped because they are aware of the fact that you're on perimeter patrol or on guard duty wearing plate carriers and probably carrying rifles. So in that situation, I think the ability to have the extra protection outweighs the weight compromise of a plate carrier, especially if your perimeter patrol is not very big. So for perimeter patrol or guard duty, I would say a plate carrier is probably a better option than a chest rig. Now let's talk about the next category. Let's talk about cost because this really matters and this is where a chest rig really shines. They are significantly less expensive than plate carriers. Now you can get a plate carrier for less money than a good chest rig but that's without the plates and you can also get good plate carriers with the plates for a decent price, but once you add the plates to the carrier, it's generally gonna cost more than a really high quality chest rig. And if you're at the budget end of plate carriers, well, that budget plate carrier is still probably more expensive than a good quality chest rig, and it's not even close to as expensive as a good quality plate carrier with good quality plates. And those can get you up there over $1,000 really easily. So because of that, when it comes to overall cost and budget in mind, chest rig wins 100% of the time because it gives you a lot of capability and you can get some really high quality stuff like this one right here is from Haley Strategic Partners, right? Really good company, really high quality gear. And this is much less expensive than your most budget friendly steel plate plate carrier because of the fact that you have to add mag shingles and everything else related to being able to make it capable. So at the end of the day, if cost is part of the equation, chest rig wins hands down okay so let's talk about gray man maintaining a level of concealability if you don't want people to know you have 
additional options on you. What's better, a test rig or a plate carrier? Now this one can be a little bit more gray because there's certain test rigs out there that are very minimalist, that are easy to conceal under like a jacket, and there's certain plate carriers out there that are specifically made to be concealed underneath a shirt or whatever it is. So in a situation where you are concerned about the idea that you need to maintain gray man, you gotta have a level of stealth about you, but you wanna have that additional protection of armor plates. I would say that you know the idea of armor is going to outweigh the idea of having additional magazine carriers and administrative gear because in that situation if you're going gray man you're likely not carrying a rifle right because carrying an ar-15 around automatically gets you out of the gray man category so you don't necessarily need magazine pouches and everything else related to why you would have a chest ring but you might want the armor factor even if it's like level 3a armor in order to give yourself a better chance if things were to suddenly pop off and you probably have a concealed carry pistol or something like that, which is great, but you don't necessarily need additional magazine carriers on a test rig just for your pistol because you can easily have those inside the waistband and there's many other options as well. So what I'm trying to say is that if you're carrying a pistol and you don't need the additional magazine pouches, you're probably better off either wearing nothing or having a plate carrier for concealability because at least then you have body armor on, whereas the chest rig really doesn't bring a lot to the table at that point in time. Unless you plan on deploying some type of bag gun or something like that, then that's maybe a different situation. But it all depends on how gray you want your gray man status to maintain. So for concealability, and especially based on what's on the market these days, even if you want to talk about things like armored t-shirts and stuff like that, then I would give that category to plate carriers because of how they would interact with the equipment you would likely have on you. So because of that, let's move on to the next category. All right, let's talk about rucking. If you're rucking with a giant pack on your back and you have to get from point A to point B, and you have to have a relative amount of endurance to get there, then a chest rig is gonna be your best friend. Plate carriers and large rucksacks just don't interact very well. They're uncomfortable when you combine the two, and it's a lot of extra weight. And if you're wearing a plate carrier, you probably have plates in it, and that weight is really gonna add up because ounces equal pounds and pounds equal pain. And the whole goal of a ruck, especially if you're talking about bugging out or something like that, is to get from one, unsafe location to a safe location. You're not necessarily trying to find yourself in a firefight or anything like that from point A to point B. Although there is a likelihood of that happening, it doesn't mean that that's what you're looking for. And the weight you're saving by wearing a chest rig over a plate carrier is a big deal for you to be able to actually make it to your destination. So with rucking and with the extra weight and everything else related to it, usually a chest rig is gonna win out for that because like I said, weight will kill you over time if you're not careful and you need to actually get to that safe location. So let's move on to the next category. So let's talk about vehicular use. Are you in a vehicle more often than not? During some type of uh, emergency situation, do you find yourself having to get through different types of environments while in a moving vehicle where having the additional weight of a plate carrier isn't in a hindrance in any way because you're not hoofing it, you're not walking long distances or anything along those lines, you're in a vehicle of some sort going from point A to point B. And during that trip, you might interact with some type of roadblock or be ambushed or who knows what. And if that happens, you already have armor on, which gives you a better chance of surviving that type of scenario. And because you're in a vehicle, you're not worried about having to carry this extra weight. So for me, in my opinion at least, if you're going to spend a lot of time in a vehicle, it would make sense to wear a plate carrier rather than a chest rig because it brings that additional level of protection with it and it doesn't really have any negatives to it in that scenario. Now, of course, the second you get out and have to run or who knows what else happens, maybe you'll be changing your mind, but that's just my opinion. If you're going to be in a vehicle mostly and the only thing you're really anticipating is the possibility of a roadblock or an ambush, why not go with a plate carrier? So let's move on to the next category. Okay, so in a situation where you might need to conduct some type of an assault mission and when I say that what I mean is maybe a preemptive strike or something more proactive where you know that you're heading into a dangerous scenario because it's what's required to achieve your survivability well if you know you're heading into a dangerous scenario and you know what you're doing is going to possibly send projectiles flying your way then I think a plate carrier is definitely going to be a better option because like I said many times before now you can stop bullets with your plate carrier as long as you have the right armor inside of it rather than a chest rig which doesn't give you any armor options at all 
So in a situation where you know for a fact there's a good chance that bullets are going to be coming your way because you're conducting some type of an assault of some kind for whatever reason, then I would say a plate carrier is probably going to be a better option for you than a chest rig at that time. So let's move on to the next category before we get a little bit too wrapped up in the fact that we're talking about an assault of some sort. Okay, so if there's some unknown threat, you're not necessarily sure about what the threat is, but you know that society is collapsing, things are falling apart, life in general is becoming more dangerous, but you don't necessarily have a bead on the idea that there is um, an armored brigade, you know, 10 miles down the road heading in your direction. You don't necessarily see roaming gangs hanging out at your local convenience store and seemingly plotting to take over your neighborhood. There's not necessarily a threat that you can identify in the immediate. So because of that, a chest rig is still a good way to go if you are just trying to you know, get your bearings and maybe travel a little bit outside of your usual area to try to find out what's going on. Well, you don't necessarily need the additional weight and everything else of plates during that time because that threat hasn't really come to fruition yet. Now, yes, it's still always good to have the additional armor and have the additional capability, but at the end of the day, you don't want to weigh yourself down too much to the point where you don't actually go out and try to get some of this intelligence by leaving your area. So at the end of the day, if you don't know if there's actually a threat or not, and you're not necessarily anticipating bullets flying at you, then a chest rig usually wins out because that additional weight just sucks. I don't know what else to say about it. It's not comfortable and it's just better to have the gear you need rather than a lot of stuff you might not. So let's move on to the next category. Okay, so let's say you know for a fact that there is an armed threat in your vicinity and you're worried about the fact that there might be an interaction of some kind. Well, in that situation, if you know for a fact there's an armed threat, let's say foreign invasion, Red Dawn happens, and the Cubans are in your backyard, right? A plate carrier is definitely a good option at that point in time because you have the additional armor and that known threat is likely to also be known in the sense of the type of equipment they have and what type of tactics they're using or whatever else it is. If it's a foreign military, you know that known threat is well equipped, which means you might need the additional armor to give yourself any type of chance at all. Versus the chest rig gives you a lot of capability, but doesn't give you any additional protection. So if you know that there's a threat that is likely to be shooting at you, then you would want the additional armor and the weight savings from a chest rig doesn't outweigh the fact that you know there's a good chance that this armor will come in handy. So in that situation with a known armed threat in your vicinity, I would say a plate carrier is a better option. So let's go ahead and wrap all this up because there's a lot of different things we need to talk about regarding all these options. And there's a couple last minute points I want to make in the sense of cost and the sense of efficiency of both of these platforms. Because as of right now, the plate carrier has won six out of the 10 categories. However, does that mean it actually wins? Okay, so after going through all those categories, here's my final thoughts on it. Cost is a huge deciding factor here. This is a core plate carrier from Premier Body Armor, and I do work with them, and I have links down in the description as well as in the pinned comment with a discount code, which you might need, because this plate carrier, with two of their level four Stratus plates, which are great for stopping rifle rounds, and for an HSGI taco shingle on the front in order to have magazine carrier capacity, this thing runs about $1,817. That's really expensive. Now, look, you can get cheaper plate carriers with cheaper plates and save yourself some money but at the end of the day you're going to eventually want to get higher quality stuff because if you're wearing a plate carrier for the reasons we talked about in this video you are basically aware of the idea that you might be shot at and that's something you don't necessarily want to gamble your life with now is it on the other hand this is a haley strategic partners trmp cxr which is basically a triple rifle magazine placard it is converted into a minimalist chest rig by having the CXR harness, and it only costs $160. You know what's great about that? It has three magazine pouches built right into it. It has the additional expansion elastic pouches, which allow you to do a little bit more if you want, and you can actually add wings and other accessories to this down the road in order to expand it even further if you need more capacity. So for $160, you get a chest rig that is from a really quality company that's highly reputable and is made out of very strong materials. Or for $1,817, you have something that's very capable of protecting your life, but also extremely expensive. So which one should you buy first? Well, here's the thing. We went through all those 10 categories, right? I just wanted to give you a quick rundown right now. Home defense, plate carrier one. Can the chest rig do that too though? Of course, right? 
Perimeter patrol, guard duty, plate carrier one. Chesterick can do it too. Vehicular use, plate carrier, but Chesterick can still do that, right? So you see what I'm trying to say? The Chesterick can still do everything I said the plate carrier would be better for in the sense of at least having the additional equipment, magazines, and whatever else you need on you. It doesn't give you the additional protection, but it still fills partial roles in the sense of having extra ammunition and things of that nature. So at the end of the day, for $160, I would buy a high quality, well-designed chest rig first. And then I would start investing in a high quality, very protective plate carrier afterward. Because at the end of the day, this will still get me extra magazines on my body. This will still get me places if I need to go somewhere. And this still wins in some of those categories. Even though it only won four out of the 10, it still wins some categories and then it can do all the categories. So this is just my opinion. And like I said, I work with Premier Body Armor. I got those links below. And I'm just telling you that even right now, if I would have started over, the first thing I would have bought was a high quality chest rig. And then I would get a plate carrier that's decked out afterward. And that's just me. That's my opinion. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And besides that, that's going to be it for Magic Prepper.